Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 20th of 2019, well, it is titled Pluto at Night. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken back in 2015 by the New Horizons spacecraft, and it gives us a view of Pluto that we could never get before. Now, of course, we got a lot of great views from the New Horizons craft because it was a chance to actually get up close and visit Pluto and see it at a very uh, close range. However, this is something quite different. While we can see Pluto from the Earth, we always see the fully illuminated side, not the nighttime side, because that always points away from the sun. And from our perspective, very close to the sun by comparison, we can never see the nighttime side of Pluto because it's always pointing away from us. So this is a chance with New Horizons having traveled out billions of kilometers out beyond Pluto and shortly after its closest approach turned around and looked back and gave us this view of Pluto. So what we're seeing is towards the top a very thin crescent of the surface of Pluto. So we can see a little tiny bit of the surface and we see Pluto as a thin crescent. But what stands out the most is this hazy ring around Pluto, which is the atmosphere. Now, Pluto does have an atmosphere, and it's um, actually mainly made up of nitrogen, and that's very interesting because it's the same as our atmosphere. Now, the reason for that is nitrogen has a, a very low point of vaporization, so it, it can exist out in the depths of the solar system, even at the very cold temperatures there. However, as Pluto gets further away from the sun, as it is currently in its orbit, that nitrogen will begin to freeze to the surface and will eventually dissipate the atmosphere until hundreds of years from now or so, when Pluto gets closer to the sun again, the material will revaporize. So, Pluto does have an atmosphere, but it tends to occur when it's on its closest port of point of orbit to the sun, and that would be uh, what we call its perihelion. Perihelion is the closest approach of an object to the sun, and Pluto is now pa well past perihelion and is heading out further away from the sun, heading further away, and its very elliptical orbit means that it does change that distance quite a bit, quite a bit. Unlike the Earth's orbit, which changes only a small amount between perihelion and aphelion, its furthest distance, Pluto can change by many astronomical units, many times the Earth's distance from the Sun, meaning that it gets warmer, not very warm because of its great distance, but can get much, much colder as it heads out into the depths. And eventually, we would see, with New Horizons had been able to stay here to look at this, we would be able to see Pluto's atmosphere probably slowly dissipate. So that was our picture of the day for October the 20th of 2019. It was titled Pluto at Night. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Mercury at Night. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.